Greetings Grapple fans, welcome to UKPW Grapple at the Green. I'm Rob Ringside and I've brought my best side today, Grapple fans. My comms partner is none other than the legendary Buffalicious one, Buff Broadside. Mr. Broadside, welcome. It. Yes, my Broadside is right here back at Parkwood with UKPW. And I am right here by your side where we're going to sit with the four sides and the two sides of the crowd. And the more sides that you can fit into this building, the better. Absolutely right, Buff Broadside. We've got an incredible show for you today, Grapple fans. We're going to take you right to the action right now. Greetings Grapple fans, Rob Ringside alongside Buff Broadside and we caught the sigh just at the beginning of the recording Mr Broadside. I gather you're not a fan of this particular I individual. Just, there's something about him that just grinds my gears. Every time, no, right, he is impressive in that ring. Not going to deny that, he is unbeatable. But the way that he does it just... Yep, no, I, it, it's the intangible, indescribable feeling that the law Lewis Basham evokes as he makes his way to ringside. That's us. That That's us. us. We are ringside. We're right, we, we are so close to the action, Gravel fans. It's a wonder we're not going to get kicked in the face. I, and actually, I, I, I put money on it. I, I, I fear. I fear for my life. Uh, I will remain impartial because that was what I am. I am a professional. Yeah, well, the, the, uh, it's, the, it's the P, isn't it? At the end of the day. It is. Wait to see Lewis Basham's opponent. Shall we bring out his opponent? Yeah. Shall we bring out his opponent? Yeah. Yes, I indeed. The UKPW don't know this man very well. He debuted in a battle royal. He did indeed. But I know this man really well. This is the breadwinner, and he he wins that bread for his little duckling. This is a guy entertainment personified. Absolutely, Buff Broadside. He says it himself. He wins the bread so his duckies get fed. Exactly. This is Ricardo Borg, who caught up with Dow Jones when we finally got him to put a shift in earlier today. That's Dow Jones, not Ricardo Borg. Greetings, Grapple fans. I'm Dow Jones, and I am joined by a brand new UKPW wrestler. I, let's just ask, hey, hi, how are you, and who are you? Hello there. I am Ricardo Borg, the breadwinner. I wrestle for bread so that my duckies get fed. And today, I'm going up against the big sheriff around UKPW. He's known as the law. He's undefeated. He is Louis Basham. Louis Basham, let me tell you something. I come from the pond, where only the tough survive, and the weak drown. I'm going to ask you this. Do you think I'm going to let my duckies go hungry? Hmm? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You must be a real oaf if you think you can take my life. <laughs> I've got nothing to say to that. Back to you at ringside. And we're underway. Ricardo Borg and Lewis Basham squaring off. Safe to say Ricardo Borg is absolutely quackers. Absolutely. And this audience are joining I him. see what you did there, Buff Broadside. This is why we have you. Oh, well. Stating, stating the obvious, just call me Mr. Obvious. It's all right. Lewis Basham really, square is, off. really, really hasn't handled many people like Ricardo Borg in the UKPW. Yes, indeed, and the unknown quantity element of that might serve in Ricardo Borg's favour. Okay, all right. Yeah, what 
back of what Basham might have in the power department. I think Ricardo Ball makes up an insect Yes, indeed. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> Collar and elbow tie up. Look at the power of Lewis Basham just like a rubber duck, just tossed into carelessly into a bath. That's right, we'll see the bubbles later on, but that's with Prince Dean. That's a different story. Yes, indeed. <laughs> nice arm drive from there the we go, see? Look at that, just. Just in. There we go, that is the quack power just of Ricardo Borg. And, and Lewis Basham is, is actually flawed emotionally, I would say, by this. Looks a little. Out of sorts. No quack. No quack. You're Lewis wrong. Lewis Basham calling for no quack. Plenty of quack. These cheese and quackers, mate. Lewis <laughs> Basham measuring up for a test of strength. Now, obviously, that is a dimension in which Lewis Basham enjoys a considerable advantage over most of the UKPW roster. He's got the height. He's got the muscles. He's got the really confused look on his face right now. <laughs> I think that's fair to say. <laughs> Lock up for a test of strength. On the hand. It's Basham just. Uh, Ricardo Ball slowly see down much, towards the mat. See how much map. more effort but Ricardo's having to put into this. Absolutely. Just, just to remain. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I mean, all credit to Ricardo Ball. He's fighting out of it very, very spiritedly. Ooh, uh, lock like him over that leg. Power of just making it look easy. And there we Crap. go, see this audience have fallen in over with Ricardo Boards. Quack tastic attitude already. Yes. And indeed. he's up. Oh see, and then oh. headlock takeover. Everything wrestling and then it does that. It's just underhanded, it's unnecessary. It's within the rules. Unnecessary. Could have carried on with a Greco Roman lock, knuckle lock. Chosen to take well, arguably that could be why Lewis Basham has enjoyed such an undefeated streak in UKPW. Going multiple matches now. Not to say he hasn't faced his challenges. Whoa! Oh, big shoulder block. Big shoulder That's block. That's off the Another ropes. There we go. Look at that. The ropes just. Wow! Yeah! Beautiful Ricardo hip toss. Borg showing some speed. Yeah, double British foot drop, drop kick. kick. Is that the British one? It is. Ah, all oh right. I'm learning. That's the other reason we have you here. Borg measures up, equal to the task. Pulling for the right, scaling up to the, se to the second. All the way! To the top. This Basham well, saying ducks he, can't he fly. I think, he, I think they can. I mean, that duck flew, but that's going to be a bad landing. Indeed. As a huge fall away slam from Lewis Basham sends Ricardo Borg across that 20 foot ring. Long way to travel. And as I said at the beginning of this fight, Lewis Basham has definitely got the uh, upper hand when it comes to uh, muscular advantage. Fair to say, upper hand for the upper body. Fair yeah. to say? I didn't know that said T-bones, but wow. Well, that must be south, because we can't look at flu. Is that, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that a Dutch migration across the room? I think so. Must be the time of year. Tristan Stone looking to encourage Ricardo Ball back into the ring. Oh. Both men on the outside now. Oh, it looks like we're going around. Taking him on a tour. And there we go. <laughs> the, audience, the audience getting involved. They don't oh, know what wow. they're saying. Look at that. Lewis Bash was driven into the... That into the ring post by Ricardo Borg, and that's going to be connection. absolutely, and that's going to be a good opportunity for Ricardo Borg to capitalise, build some momentum of his own after enjoying very little of the offence up front. Stand Bounces the off the ropes, goes for an elbow drop, but Lewis Basham not there. Not quite, not quite. Uh, oh, good snap suplex. Ricardo Borg starting to take some pro proper punishment now. Absolutely, as the. Uh, the action is already so intense, it's taken down our banners. Yeah, safe to say that Louis, Louis, Bashan, Louis Bashan's technique when it comes to some of these suplexes and throws is 
second to none here at UKPW. No argument there. And as you say, yeah, it may be frustrating when the rules are kind of stretched because clearly the wrestling ability is there. Oh, and the power to say nothing of that. Huge clothesline takes Ricardo Borg to the mat. And all that momentum he was building is just undone. And there we go, slowing the match down, taking him back to the, the, pace, the pace that he wants to work at. Absolutely. Lewis Basham very good at controlling the action in the ring, setting the pace, setting the time. Which is good because right. against an opponent and like Ricardo is Ball. This, 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 is, this is the technique now. See how he's got all the weight over him, laying down on the head, proper squeeze on him. Audience going to have to start getting behind Ricardo Ball, otherwise he'll be lights out pretty quick. Yes, indeed. Lewis Basham could pick up another victory to add to the already impressive array he has beaten on this undisputed run. This undefeated run, I should say. Although it's been undisputed, he won. He won. Big forearm, and another one! Look at that. Another ball looking to try and find his way back into this contest. Oh, wow! Running headbutt takes Basher off his feet! Like a back headbutt. He's done that something like that before, but actually took a lot out of Ricardo Borg as well. As he I mean, it was, always said by, it was always said by a very wise man, nobody wins with a headbutt. Was it you? Uh, it might have been. Oh, That's huge right. running eight, power slam. Do what? Eight, yeah? Right. Oh. It's a sincere oh, form of flattery. Was that was personal. And the cover. Oh, and two. Yeah. There's only one man that can do that for a free count. But that was personal. You saw that. I did see that. You saw that. Very well personal. executed. Very well executed. And he did give you a little bit of a, a, little bit of a look. Oh, this is interesting. We don't see this very often from Lewis Basham. He's starting to scale the turnbuckle. It's, it, I mean, this is terrifying for if you. If I was Ricardo Bo, I, I probably mean, wouldn't be enjoying the prospect of this coming out. That right 16 now. stone about to fly. Oh, oh Borg not in the way he was hoping. That was a long way down. Ricardo Borg brings Lewis Basham down along with one of the turnbuckles. As if Borg starting to gather some of that energy. There we go. Oh, forearms in the corner, right in front of our commentation station. Oh, I would have heard that one from over the other side. Just leading him oh, around right. the ring. This one, oh, this one's going to sting more. Remember when I said to you that eccentricity, that is it. That is what Borg has got. He can turn himself up to 11 and just go to a place that nobody else can. Absolutely. Looking good value here and there for those duckies getting fed. Oh, look at that. Just extra momentum. Just driving him to the turnbuckle. He's looking Lewis, to get this crowd behind him. Ace Lewis Basham looking a tad out of sorts right now. A touch. Where's he going? Not sure. Oh. He's, he's grabbing something. That's oh, That looks he, like his gavel. That is his tiny hammer. It's a gavel. It's a tiny they're, hammer. They're, they're different sorts of things. It's a tiny hammer. And I've, and I've held that. It's quite big. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh. Hey, dude. Looks like it came past our commentation station. Oh. And I'll tell like you again. That. I will tell you again. What did I say? What did I say? Here is your winner, the Lewis. What was lawful about that, Mr. Ringside? What was lawful about that? Well, Grapple fans, Buff Broadside said it himself. The uh, the finish to that one, questionable. Questionable. Yes. Questionable. Yes. It can right be questioned. It's, it's, right I know the words I'm using, the verbiage. Thank you. That's Lewis Basham's gavel. That's from, coming from outside the ring. Which he threw, it went past us. I did hear a clonk. I thought that might be my Dutch shoes. But nevertheless, Grapple fans, what matters is the fall. And on this occasion, Questionable or otherwise, it has gone to the law, Lewis Basham, who picks up the victory and extends his unbeaten run here in UKPW. Personal attack. You saw that. He did my power slam a point out. Personal attack. Personal attack. While Buff Warsaw remonstrates with UKPW management, 
Let's go to Dow Jones, who's with Nathan Blade. Greetings, Grapple fans. I'm Dow Jones, and I am joined by two members of Project SE. Je Gents, don't, don't attack me, but what's the game plan today? First of all, first of all, you better know our name. This is Richie Rich. My name is Nathan Blade. Now, first of all, first of all, I'm here in this dump of a town called Parkwood. I have to walk 30 minutes just to find a corner shop. But that's, that's not my issue. The issue is we came here to UKPW to make a statement. So if you actually do your research and check out previous shows, you'll see we were off the Wolf of Bull Street, the, the top wolf, so to speak. That's fine, we came up a little bit short, but it's okay, my boy Tyler Walker, he's at home, he's having a rest day, he's got his pads, he's got his pen, he's taking notes on how I get a victory today. But anyways, oh, CPF, we haven't forgot about you for interrupting us neither at the end, right? But bigger fish to fry at the moment. So I hear Danny running his mouth say he wants to put us in our place. Show us that we don't run around here. We don't run things. That's funny because you like to say Danny doesn't die, but Danny will die tonight in Parkwood. So I advise people don't run their three-year-olds here today because it's going to be a horrible sight. So anyways, while I go deal with this nuisance of a mess, make sure you remember who Project SE is. My name's Nathan Blades. This is Richie Rich, and this is, oh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know and I don't care. We're gone, we're done. There you have it, Grapple fans. Project SE, back to you at ringside. This is Nathan Blade's first singles comp competition in UKPW. He has previously been involved in Battle Royals, and he was the man who threw the first blow against the Wolf of Brawl Street, Alexander Roth, in that exchange in Falconwood that almost saw the Prince of Peckham, Tyler Walker, walk away with the UKPW Championship. Didn't go their way on the day, but they made an impression, it's fair to say. An impression, right? Well, yes. Let's see, if they make, let's see if he makes the same sort of impression today. Now I'm gonna put him on the spot to do impressions. Ah, oh, but I know this guy. Stone 11 pounds, I get that for breakfast. Yes, indeed, Buff Broadside. Well, your dietary habits notwithstanding, Devious Danny is no stranger to a UKPW ring. He, ha he debuted in 2022. Having said that, despite a number of impressive showings, he has one victory to his name in UKPW in singles competition. Well, this is it. Well, I think that, I think that the Devious one might, might just pick up another one tonight. I've just got the feeling. Mr. Nathan Blade. Yeah, make sure he's getting back. Yeah. Any damage to this, run off you. It's a helmet. It's supposed to get damaged. Always. That's right, yeah. He's fond of it. Ding, ding. Hammer away. Hammer away. There we go. The immortal devious Danny here. He is. He's going to have the crowd behind him with his speed and zippiness. Yep. Those, all those things and more. He is like a living energy drink. Indeed, but Nathan Blade talks a big game on behalf of Project SE. He is their mouthpiece. He has stated I mean, his intent that they're going to make an impression to them. He has got a big mouth on him, I'll give him that. Say, Colin Elbow, and off we go. Look at that power of Nathan Blade just without really blinking. It's safe to say that Nathan Blade has definitely got the size advantage in this one. I think that's fair to say. There's a high chance that he had the same size breakfast as me. Could be. So full of protein. A devious Danny sized. A devious as we established protein. earlier, respecting the camera. Exactly. So here we are. Nathan Blade, Blade threatening the audience. Making, here friend, making friends and influencing people oh, yes. here, in, uh, here in Parkwood. That's it. Threatening to beat up children in the audience. I mean. But I mean, I believe he could with, with power like that. I totally oh, believe he could. I mean, the most Not say he should. The most frightening thing that he could do was sit on him. I mean, nobody would like that. Goodness. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get 
team. Played looking to be a little bit reticent to get involved, didn't he? Enjoying that side advantage. Look at that speed. That's the difference. See, Nathan Blake showing, showing, showing that, um, that inexperience. They're just constantly belittling the crowd rather than concentrating on the wrestling match itself. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Divas Danny is enjoying himself. Just rolling through, showing off his, showing off his rolls. Rich having to hold Nathan Blade back seemingly from just just what go into town on this crowd here in Parkwood. Trying to get him to concentrate on what what is the money earning and that is in the ring and winning this wrestling match. Look at that ducks through a clothesline. Oh, oh there we some go. Stiff kicks to the back of the leg. Oh, goes for a drop kick. Oh, big That's splash from Nathan Blade. Smash. That could do it. Close to a two count. First cover of the contest. My word. Measures up a forearm. Flashed. And delivers. Hey, it's all going to well be in smaller and running away, but eventually you get caught. Well, but this is it. And if you do, then uh, you've got to deal with what this is what's happening. There's a whole ring just reeling from that one. Crowd not enjoying it. Oh. I think Probably the, slightly less. I would say slightly more than Devious Down. I think the crowd. I think the crowd. Are, you know, they're slightly warming to Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's really winning yeah. them over. Of course, yeah. You know, there was, there was a boo. Yay. Right? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Meanwhile, and then Nathan no, Blade no. discussing proceedings with Tristan Stone. Meanwhile, Richie Rich takes advantage. <laughs> well, if I hadn't already made up my mind about him, I definitely had now. Oh, we don't like him. No, I, 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 I thought that might go down. That, 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 that's, that's it. That's, that's what it doesn't matter what they do now. He, he could hit the most perfect 450 splash. I just don't know. Put Project Tessie off the, uh, so, off yeah, the Christmas Yeah, that's list. it. They're, they're, they're not getting Christmas cards from me this year. That's it. You can't, you can't cheat. I like oh. can't cheat. I cave in a man's chest like that. Oh. And experience the Christmas card. Wow. <laughs> my God. If yeah, that went you know what? Fair <laughs> enough. If it's a back caving in men's chest, fair enough. The Christmas card list is pretty robust. Oh my meanwhile, God. meanwhile in the ring, there is another one. I'm telling you, Nathan Blade was feeling his feeling his shoulder blade then yep. straight so through the there. ribs. Yep. Bang. Yep. Nathan Blade taking yeah. it. Nathan Blade just calling over to what? Who said that? <laughs> Wasn't me. I didn't catch what I don't know who said that, but there was a call to do it again. Drop him again! Oh! That'll do! Unable to whip him out of the corner. He just does a beautiful step over in Seguri. Oh, oh just drives his shoulder. shoulder. Look at that from Danny. Oh, Hugely right impressive knee. athleticism. Just flips back up to a vertical can base you, and it hits the big knee. Birds currently flying around Nathan Blazing. I think they'll be added in post-production, Buff. Oh, meanwhile, he's about to come from and the second rope, but Richie Rich is Richie Rich. getting involved. Get out of it! Oh, oh meanwhile, dear. he goes for the crossbody, but is caught the by distra the distraction just Nathan Blade. Oh, oh, dear. Just dumps him to the canvas, two count. A risky gambit from Danny, it's fair to say, given the power of Nathan Blade. Well, this is it. I mean, Devious Danny's not going to lose this because of Nathan Blade. Devious Danny is going to lose this because of Richie Rich. He's all, he is already injected himself in this match more than once. Yes, indeed. I free Tristan Stone doing their best to keep this level, but uh, the numbers game may prove to be Tristan, the difference maker. Tristan Stone has got one pair of eyes, one pair of hands, and one pair of legs. He cannot be everywhere. Absolutely right. <laughs> These are all facts. It's true. Yeah, no, it's, it's true. true. Yeah, I this mean, is why we bring you along. But just, just yeah. Have. It's two eyes, two ears, one nose. Yep. Yeah. No, it's true. I'm not disagreeing with you. You know, I'm here for the facts. Meanwhile, oh, oh dear, dig him a hole. Just leveled with a chop. Let's see why Project SE used him. Threatening the cameraman now. Absolutely, getting involved with the production crew. I feel like we're next. Well, we're post-production, we're all right. I've got, I've got stuff to throw at him, it's okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, actually, some, some of this might be, anyway. <laughs> Danny's fighting his way back into this one. Well done. Yes! Just Oh. Alternating chops and forearms and knees. He's using every bit of the animal. Oh, oh. Nathan Blade blocks. Oh, big That's headbutt. That's a big headbutt. Danny butt. just about on his feet, but not by much. Oh, oh I don't run back. Using that momentum, just build in with one of his own. It's Danny just measuring up. Whips on the ropes. Oh, wow. 
big clothesline, big turning time. Danny inside out. It has to be a big one to end up with you face down. Two count. Upside down and bouncing off the ceiling. Devious Danny just got turned inside out. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Richie Rich trying to remonstrate with Tristan Stone about the definition of the number three. We're going to defer to the referee on this one. This I, I feel sorry. I feel sorry for Tristan Stone right now. Yeah, I believe I understand it. It's not his fault. No, indeed. But meanwhile, the person on the receiving end of the downside is, is Mr. Devious Danny, who is now once again on the wrong side of a two-on-one. He's three times Richie Rich has now got involved. Yeah, the referee could count that height if only they were allowed to see it. But they're being deliberately obscured. Oh! Whipped to the turnbuckle and just coming cannon and out of it. You can tell how much venom was in that one from Nathan Blade. Looking to make an impression, and understandably so. Oh! Driving there we go. See that every that, kilo of that, that I mean, we 130. Saw him, we saw him come out earlier with the football helmet on. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That, that was a strong shoulder drive oh. into the corner. Here comes another one. Oh, Danny ducks out. <laughs> Looking to find his way back into this one. Big oh. British drop kick. What well up? Yeah. Mate. You're learning. A bit practicing. He comes out of that buckle. Hits another. another one. And Again into the corner. Felt that, felt that impact on the top turn buckle. As he says on Danny's butt cheek. Danny doesn't die! He Woo! does drop kick. That's three times now. He does drop kick. He does drop He should kick. have that on his on his shorts as well. Well Danny does drop kick. Yeah. Whoa, look at that. Power oh, from Nathan Blade. Uranagi. Catches him with an Uranage. Oh, but that took a lot out of him to do so. Down and out. And now it's up to referee Tristan Stone to count to ten. This, this is the it. upper limit hey. of a referee's counting ability. I mean, this match has been going for some time. Both of these guys, you know, they don't make the 10 count a draw. Oh, okay. That's a fair result. Yeah. Oh, that's a fair result. No, he's on already the, up. On balance. Oh, now they're just trading shots as they make their way up to a vertical base, as they say. I don't know who they are, but we're doing it now, so why not? Oh, double hand shot from Danny. Big forearm from Nathan Blade. Danny reeling. Oh. One of his oh, own. Oh, he's go. got several in a row. Look at that. Almost looked like he was going to whip off the ropes, but both men in. exchanging blows. Back elbow. They whips him up Looks for a pop up. Oh! Caught the knee of Devious Danny instead. Devious Danny has the slight upper hand here as he looks to hit cover. Puts on the ropes, but uh, four times. That's Trisha Stone caught him that time. He could. Yes! Yes, that's what happened. Referee Tristan Stone ordering Richie Rich to leave the ringside area. Out, 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 out. Be gone, Richie Rich. Shoo! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Goodbye. There you go. You like called it. It's like exactly you know, it's like you knew what was going to happen. You have to get some results off of you later. That's yes, right with. Au revoir, farewell, our Venus ain't a ju, a ju, a ju, to Richie. Go, 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 go. I got it, bro, go. He's got it, he says. He's got it. says he's got it. He's letting him go, he's got it. Richie Rich makes his way backstage. Danny not waiting for him. And now we're one on one. He will be, oh, goes for it. Oh, hits at Uranage. Okay, now this is interesting. He's lining him up. He's scaling the ropes. Oh. Second rope. It's time. It's time. Oh. It's, he missed. Looks for a splash, but nobody there. Devious Danny too quick. And out of that turnbuckle. Oh, huge knee. Right into the face of Nathan Blade. Hello there. I'm the knee. Look at that. That's how I imagine that interaction went out. Pretty quick. Danny going to fly. Danny going to fly. Devious now we expect this a bit more from Devious you. Danny, don't we? We see this a bit more from him. Yes. This is not good news for Nathan Blade if he hits this one. Devious Airways flying first class. Look at that one. Off he goes. Whoa, frog Feeling splash. Froggy. And a three. The match is over. Devious Danny picks up the victory.
Well, there you have it, Grapple fans. Devious Danny picks up the pinfall victory. And Buff Broadside, what a frog splash to finish that one off. You can still see the mark on the ceiling where he skidded against it. That was some massive height from Devious Airways first class. Absolutely. Danny doesn't die. Danny does fly. Devious Danny picks up the pinfall victory over Nathan Blade. All credit to Nathan Blade. Put in a spirited performance and made a good showing for his ability. But what matters is the fall. Devious Danny has it. Well, Grapple fans, let's throw back to Dow Jones, who is backstage with Fabio Romano. Dow, nice to see you doing some work, mate. Greetings, Grapple fans. I'm Dow Jones, and I am joined by a man who hasn't been on the scene for over a year, Fabio Romano. Fabio, talk to me. What's the plan today? Hello, Grapple fans. It's been a while, isn't it? Huh? But guess who's back? The Golden Flame, Fabio Romano. And yes, as the man said, it's been a while since I've been here. My last match here was uh, against Alexander Roth for the UKPW Championship. And let's just say that the match didn't go as planned. But after that, I managed to put myself back up and I'm back more angry, more strong, more passionate than ever before. And who did the UKPW management choose as my returning opponent? I'll tell you who. The tramp of UKPW. The nail. And don't get me wrong, the nail is quite a veteran. He's been around since uh, pretty much 15 years in UKPW, isn't it? But he's still no match for Fabio Romano. Because you see, I'm a man with a purpose now. I came back to UKPW with one goal in mind. And it's to grab some gold. Because guess what? Gold wears good on the golden flame. Thank you so much, Fabio. Best of luck. Back to you at ringside. Shall we find out who he's facing? Yeah! Shall we find out who he's facing? Yeah! I think you're going to like this one. Let's bring him out. Yeah! And there's my boy. This is my boy. Well, you heard it, Grapple fans. The hardcore heavy metal hero himself, The Nail, is here to take on Fabio Romano. And will this be a difficult return for Fabio Romano? I would argue, likely. UKPW legend and original, The Nail, former tag team partner of Buff Broadside, member of heavy metal. He's my boy! Fabio Romano is in for some interesting collisions in this one yes because indeed. again the nail is one of those that comes out hard hitting high flying and that eccentricity of what he could do when he turns himself up to 11. yes indeed now of course it is worth saying that despite turning himself up to 11 the nail it does not appear to be a hundred percent he has a nagging rib injury he picked up during the street fight with Lewis Basham at Showcase in Canterbury. He has been working through it in true heavy metal hero fashion. But with that said, the last couple of, uh, well, it has been the last couple of victories, the last couple of results have not gone his way. He's picked up a loss against Delphine in Lock Meadow. He picked up a loss against Andros J in Maidstone. He's going to be looking to turn that run of bad form around, but Every time he wrestles less than 100%, is he compounding the problem? Well, this is it. Any kind of injury in this professional wrestling world will hinder your progress in the ring. But this is the nail we're talking about. Indeed. He's looking to turn around a three-match losing streak. Have you ever mind looking to make a newly found fresh impression? Last time we saw him in the UKPW ring, he came up short in the UKPW Championship against Alexander Roth despite an impressive display.
certainly not appearing to feel any of us ready for this one. But again, not to undersell the abilities of Fabio Romano, he's in for a challenge. Well, this is it. Fabio Romano is a very skilled, a very competent uh, wrestler inside those inside those four uh, those four corners. So Nail shouldn't be going into this uh, lightly. No, indeed. Measure up, to square off. That is run. Off we go. Collar and elbow to begin proceedings. Oh, wait a oh, second. Grabbing the hair. Making use of that. Liberal use of that hair. I mean, I, I, I always used to have a chat with. Always used to have a chat with Nolan about his hair, about it being a hindrance in matches. But he holds on to that hair like somebody would hold on to a child. He loves that. If he ever lost it, I'd, I'd hate to think what happened to him. I'd dread to think. Let's never. Let's hope he You'd never puts out the stim stimulation. Dread. Yeah, I would. You'd dread. Yeah, exactly. You'd yeah. Dread. Exactly. Yeah. It's almost like I played for it, but I really didn't. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fabio Romano enjoying a headlock advantage over the nail, as in he's got one and the nail hasn't. He's got one. Oh, look at that. Just Dragging them down to the canvas, and that's probably going to be putting some pressure on those ribs. Well, this is it. Any kind of contortion to the body, uh, and again, even even something as lightly as that, he's going to he's going to compound on those ribs. Absolutely. By leaning back, back, see how see how he's leaning and pulling back on him, putting yeah. his weight onto the ribs. Absolutely. Which is going to cut out their breathing just a little bit more. Absolutely. And referee Tristan Stone clearly feeling that the nail might be in a submission position because they're right up in the nail's face, checking. Shoulder block from Fabio Romano. Don't see that from a. Enjoying that kind of power advantage. Oh, impressive athleticism from the nail. Whips off the ropes. Rolls Speed through. starting to pick up a bit here. Oh, big hey, shoulder block from the nail. Very shoulder block. Comes another one. And another one. Off the ropes. Three in a row. That is a trifecta. Absolutely measuring up. Big hip toss. Fabio Romano is going to be reeling from that one. Now looking to keep that crowd on as the oh, second, he's going, he's as the extra person in the corner. Trying to go corner. for the double underhook there for that DDT. They recuperate both in the corner. So now looking to whip the crowd into a frenzy. Coast to coast, up and over. Oh, that would have landed awkwardly. Caught himself from the knees. He must have driven that weight into the ribs. And a running for that knockout blow. Oh, oh, knee to the ribs. That's smart it. move from Fabio Romano. He's hit that knee to the ribs. Smart but less chivalrous. <laughs> Referee Tristan Stan getting involved to keep the count. Oh, good nice neck break. Good technique on the neck breaker there. He's fond of neck breakers. He'll be looking to hit that Dolce Vita. Oh, meanwhile, Don't big boot. Just cheats <laughs> No, no, it's not. <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 I missed London. Thank you, thank you. I was just going to say you missed me. No, my man can dream. Anyway, meanwhile, in the ring, Fabio Romano enjoying the advantage here. Oh, and again. Oh, that knee to the ribs. Just the, and that just, just standing on it. Just the pointed toe of that boot, the knee, and now the full foot. All been driven into the ribs of a nail. He's going to be feeling that. Now. Even past today, win or lose. I mean, we, 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 all, we all know that they all got dead. Not 100% oh. all there, but somebody needed to try and talk him out of this. Absolutely. It's, it's um, you know, perhaps on UKPW management, but they check in and he says he's good to go. And it's all credit to him for the resilience, but it does, has so far resulted in the three match losing streak. And it's, you wonder if it plays in. How can it come? Oh, that's a crush. Just chest first. Chest into the turnbuckle. Would have hit the ribs probably in the middle. Fabio Romano enjoying the a breathing as, space. As, he, as, as Fabio Romano found out there, the crowd really, really like him. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair to say. I think he's winning the moment. This before. Oh, there we go. Very See now, this, this, this is, is smart. smart. Move. Really Abdom smart. Abdominal stretch. That is genius. 
when somebody is suffering from a rib injury, don't you do it, Fabio. Oh, taking that. And there he goes. See, and there's the, the illegal advantage. Just oh, gives a little bit of extra momentum. The referee, Tristan Stone, is now keeping a close eye out for it. Just checking in on the nail. Tristan Stone, as I said earlier, he's got two eyes, two ears, and a mouth. He can't be oh, a right. Oh, he's going that time. Beats the five count, oh, oh, oh. keeps it inside of the qualification. He's got it again. He's locked in there. And he's still got it. He breaks Chris it. Stone breaks it. Big hip toss from the nail. But that, after a stretch out of that calibre, probably would have hurt him to do that hip toss. Oh, oh God, did you hear that? that? Think the things that hurt. Those forearms. Probably got a couple of braids to the face as well. Oof. A whip off of those dreads is enough to take an eye out. Exactly. Fabio Romano should be lucky he still ends up with a pair. Whoa! Oh, kitchen sink! Big knee to the ribs and the cover. Nail powering out, but that's got to hurt too. The more the, more, the, more the nail takes the bumps, the more it kicks out, the more those ribs are going to start to hurt. Yes, He's indeed. really going to gasp for breath now and struggling to keep this up for any much longer. Meanwhile, stretched out over that middle rope is the nail. Romano once again on the wrong side of referee Tristan Stone's remonstrations. Demonstrations, that's a big one. Trying to get more syllables in. Oh, oh look at that! Goes for another one, but rolls through. Almost took one out of nowhere. I think that's what I think that's what the nail needs now. I don't I don't think he's gonna get anything else. Oh, forearms to the back of the head. Oh, just trying to work his way up to a vertical base, but Fabio Romano had other ideas. But I was going to now was about to try and pick up. Pick ah, up this is it. Package. We've seen this before. Right, oh, wait. No, he's rolled Small through. Package. Small package. Oh, he's Measuring got up again. again. I know this one. Oh, that's the Dolce Vita. Will that be enough? Oh. He kicked wow. out. He kicked out. Whoa. Wow. Credit to the nail. But that, no, must, nail. that must have hurt just to kick out. Broadside enjoying his impartial role as my broadcast colleague today. Just whipping what? the crown to a friend. Who went? No, I didn't do a thing. I don't know what you mean. No. There's no video evidence of such things. Oh, nobody Romano, home. Fabio hard. Romano, super, super kick. kick. Almost. Oh, oh that oh. was close. And a 2.9. Nail almost took that one out of nowhere. Big super kick. Beautifully delivered. And nobody will know that better than Fabio Romano right now. That's he right. was still holding his face he's, days later. He's going to be picking up teeth for a week. Absolutely. Probably gold. And a duck. Oh, he's got him up. Scoops him up. Look at that spinning backbreaker. So many oh. rotations, but and there's the there you go. There's that's the ring awareness, that's a ring awareness and that's a legitimate said. use of ropes to break the hold. Breaks See. up a pin. See, Fabio Romano is a very competent wrestler inside this great circle. And right there, pure ring awareness. Absolutely. Tell me where he was, otherwise this was over. He was not kicking out. Absolutely. UKPW, of course, has seen the nail for a long number of years. Fabio Romano, no slouch himself to ring in experience. Trying to hook him for the double arm DDT. Trying to pull out of nowhere. Romano kicks him back to into that turn the corner. Buckle. Oh, back elbow out of it. Nails, We've seen this scales before. the second rope. Oh, 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 oh. That rib, the ribs might be playing into it there. Makes yeah. his way to the top. Oh. Goes for the moonsault. Nobody that home. The slip was what did it. The slip oh. was what did it. And a big forearm. And this one is coming to Rome. And a cover. And, and that's, that's it. it. Wow. That was it. See, we saw we saw the slip on the top rope from now. That was all it took for Fabio Romano to get on top. Absolutely. Well, there you have it, Grapple fans. An explosive finish. The nail going for that top rope moonsault, but nobody home. And then it's time for the nail to take a trip of his own as Fabio Romano sends him coming to Rome. One, two, three. And Fabio Romano, on his return to UKPW action, picks up the victory. Buff Broadside, what do you make of that finish? Uh, exactly what you said. All right, good. That's, that's good. So exactly. it's copy the, and paste. It was, it's, it, what else do you need? He went up for his boots, so he slipped because of the ribs. Where it's at.
but unfortunately, Fabio Romano, Romano comes on top and they are now four for four. Absolutely, all credit to Fabio Romano, a, an impressive victory and what a way to make your return. If you're going to be signaling that you're going to find your way to the top. Give it up one more time for the nail! Greetings Grandpa fans, Rob Ringside alongside Buff Broadside at the commentation station welcoming Prince Dean to the ring. The bubbles are out Buff Broadside oh, and the crowd mate, is loving it. This is a guy, if there's one man in UKBW that has my dress sense, it's this guy. I love him, he's bringing the bubbles, he brings the fun, he brings the energy. He brings all of that and, and he more. he steals beer. He's stealing drinks. The wrestle gods are cheeky gods. Wrestle gods are oh, our oh, chances, it has to be said. That's two, maybe three drinks that have been pilfered now. He is bubble tastic. Yes, indeed. Prince Dean, of course, representing himself and only himself today, because, of course, the last time we saw Prince Dean in a UKPW ring. He was on the losing end of a tag team number one contender's opportunity where the two-man day trip lost to Jay Alexander and Delphine. And it does seem like the team is no more. Oh, that is, that is awful news. Nobody likes to hear that. Well, speaking of things people don't like to hear, the music of Fentos, the genius, on his way to the ring. I've got some maths for you for Fentos. This man stands at six foot seven inches. He does. He is a former inter-regional champion, former tag team champion. He is. And probably the tallest man you're ever likely to see in well, in the I'm, the wrong, I'm the wrong person to say that to, Buff Broadside, because he and I are about the same height, but he wears it much better than I do, it's fair to say. He does, yes, and look at the, the just look at the physique of the man. I mean, what are you hiding underneath that? It's going to be a lot of... Uh, ha -ha! Uh, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, he does wear it well, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. He does. And it's, it's in, um... I want it at least... Uh, no, I, I, I'm not a huge fan of Fentos, but when he does go, ha ha, it does cheer me up just a bit. Yeah, bit. no, I get it. It's a little bit of euphoria that comes along with it, isn't it? I mean, I've fought, I have fought, I have fought this man many times he, in many places around this country. Gotta say, and he does appear very imposing from this angle. Yes, yes. The conversation say we are looking up at a mountain <laughs> of a man. We are, yes, because we're. It's, 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 I'm, 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 glad, I'm glad the ring's only set, set on a low setting, otherwise it'd be even taller. This is true. This is true. It is a big ring. But thankfully, it is a slightly lower ring. When, the, when these two men stand opposite each other right in the centre, you're going to see just how large Fen is. He's, he's, a, he's a big chap, isn't he? And, and again, I think an under, we underserve, despite the fact that I never stopped banging on about it, what an incredible athlete he is. Well, this is it. I mean, for, from the days, he, he has trimmed down. He is, he, he, you can see that he's been working hard in the gym. Indeed. I think the gym works hard to accommodate him, personally. That's my guess. Measure up for a test of strength. Is that wise from Prince Dean? Even if he's got some residual wrestler god energy from last show, I feel like that's a, 
a risky gamble. He's, he's, he's Look at that, just pretty. stretching that arm out. And that's a long way to stretch it as well. Yes, indeed. It must be three feet across. I mean, Fender standing. Look at that, impressive. Nevertheless, athleticism from Prince Dean to regain the momentum and reorganize the limbs. So Fentos legitimately standing head and shoulders above Prince Dean. Yes, indeed. Oh, there he goes. Look at that smart, as you would expect from somebody That's the whole thing. Genius. Because, as, as, as you say, he is the genius, and he is, in his own words, clever. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you don't get to genius level without that. I oh, know, I looked it up. In a, in a book. I mean, so, brag. somebody should tell him, though, on his boots, he's got a bit of pie. Yes, exactly. doesn't take as good care of his boots clearly as he does of his intellect. Meanwhile, oh, Prince Dean still looking to engage in that. Oh, test of strength, except. See, we don't. We, we, we talk about Fentos's uh, height and imposing size, but we don't talk about his wrestling ability. I, I, I never stop banging on him, I don't know what you mean. Well, all right. Whoa. You didn't say squat about it today, but. I, okay, well, we can roll the camera back. We'll check, we'll check for a week. Oh. <laughs> Apologies if the if the venom of that is not is coming through the microphone well, because yes. at this point with the position we're in it's very oh, possible. Prince Dean, oh, that impressive again, just the speed and through the legs. The that quick, I mean, that, the quickness that is, and the inventive. Oh wow! And there we go, slips him over him out. and the cover. Prince Chris and Stone noticing the shoulders were down. Prince and Dean trying to make Fentos' his arms even longer than they already are. Yes, indeed. Fentos, of course, has been on a kind of mixed streak in terms of victories and losses recently. His last uh, time out was a victory against Keith Chaos at Lock Meadow, but he has also been on the losing end of Theodore Powers, the entertainer, last time we were in this venue. So he doesn't have a great relationship with Parkwoods. He's... Uh, he holds the record for the fastest rampage elimination, which was held in this town, in this venue. He's got the uh, he's he's got he's got the fastest elimination, and he's got the second fastest elimination as well. Yes, indeed. And he also, uh, as we both saw, has the highest elimination because he, he went he went sailing. <laughs> That was, a, that was a long way down, even for him. Absolutely. Tyler Walker had a good go of re reproducing it in his match against Alexander Roth, but that was not a rampage environment, so it didn't count. I checked with oh. Guinness, that's what they told me. Oof. Fendel's just trying to just rip the brutal. shoulder out of the socket. And I, you know what? If anybody can, I reckon it's him. Okay, he's looking to make his way to the ropes, trying to, ropes, back to, back to the, the hold. Trying to leverage something. What he can in terms of sp again, oh, the, agility, again. the agility of Prince Dean as he just whips him through for an arm double arm drag and then puts him in a headlock. Yeah. Yeah. Snap there from Fentos. But Dean quick to his feet but back down. Yeah. Fentos just leveraging that power, just shoulders yeah. lock. Dean ducks underneath, vaults over. Just the speed of this is wow! wow. Very impressive from Dean. Those wrestle gods gave him a little bit of extra oomph to flip Ventos over. That was a Goes big the backdrop. But he did telegraph it by yelling ooh at the top of his ducks. Voice. So just back and forth. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Fentos using that intelligence and oh, that, and look wow, at the balance at of Prince Dean. Phenomenal precision from Prince Dean, pointing directly up. Go on, Fentos, I dare you. I dare you. Toying whether or not to interface with this environment, but look at that double drop kick. That's not a British one. That's an upside down British one from the top rope. <laughs> hey, say that three times fast. No, I, I, I don't. No, don't make me. Go on, to keep Dean. track of the action. The power of the Brussels gods. Oh, oh, oh yes, Fentos, maybe. But Prince Dean floats over. Look at that. Wow. Not to By be the ceiling. outdone. Fentos, we, he is going to take a tile out at this rate. He is a, he's a big chap. I mean, that is impressive. <laughs> it's pretty that, impressive. I, wow. Can he get down, though? That is the question. They are just exchanging words in the ring. <laughs> And he's back up again. Ventos not to be outdone doing it twice. 
the move so impressive, he's doing it again. Oh, the Dean deciding whether or not to go and interacts I mean, with Fentos in the corner. He's questioning the audience. He's giving it some questions. Yeah, go on. What, what arm can it do? He was nice enough to come over to you. <laughs> Fentos telling <laughs> French Dean to make his mind up. <laughs> the blood rushing to Fentos' head right now. Absolutely. Oh, no. <laughs> I think Fentos, Fentos is going to end up coming down very, very dizzy at this rate. He's still holding himself. I don't himself. know what to say. <laughs> let's, let's, let's wait and see what happens. Yes. Oh. I'm just get him. <laughs> I mean, he, oh my goodness. I mean, he was well, going to come down eventually and there he gra is. Gravity always wins as we found. My goodness. Fentos. All credit to him. That was legitimately five straight. It felt like five straight minutes. Oh, and it's that, it's, I mean, I think we should have. He must be able to hold his breath. You can't give him a round of applause what, for that. That a, was impressive. What an athlete. Because I can only imagine he could hold his breath underwater for about a year and a half. My goodness. It's Fentos doing his best to get to his feet. He must not know where they are. But look at that power, just hoisting Dean like he weighs nothing. Where are we going? Oh! oh. Nowhere good. Oh. How is Fed not standing? Just, I'm just, just an impressive athlete. It's just in every respect. It must be the first time I mentioned it today, but he's, he's a very impressive athlete. He's a very impressive athlete. Yeah, I, I wish I said it more. I, that it's not well, get, it doesn't get said enough either way. I mean, we couldn't even make we couldn't even make a TikTok video out of that because it was so long. It took it, it was <laughs> it would have fallen outside the content guidelines for most things. <laughs> there we go. Now back to trying to wear down Prince Dean. to his feet. Back to back to the wrestling. Fight out of that headlock. Oh, Ventos just just using that power, just driving him down. Just again. hold just hold him into the crevasse. Oh. oh. It's him twisting and Dean shouting. Oh, the pressure on the neck there. That's, what? That's got to be very uncomfortable. I believe the crowd, somebody from the crowd just told Fentos he's not the Joker. Which, I mean, I'm sure he knows. That. He makes no attempt to the con He makes no assertion to the contrary. Dean trying to get the rest of God's behind him, which I think is, in this case, is going to have to settle for this capacity crowd in, in Parkwood today. And there we are, we spoke We spoke about them, they heard us, and they're answering. As Dean looks to fight his way back to a vertical base. Fentos just powers him away. Nobody home. Holding him up. Look at that. Just Dean trying to work his way out. Oh. That That's a long not, way down for anybody. It's it's legitimately three vertical meters. No exaggeration. A thousand feet. <laughs> no exaggeration. No, no, no. You told me thousands of times not to do that. Exactly. You've answered me hundreds. Yeah. Fantastic measuring up. Beautiful neck Big breaker. Neck breaker. Good technique. Fantastic. Fantastic. Definitely, arguably, back into this one. Enjoying some. I would say some dominance at this point. Christine it. looking to find his way back into this one. That's it. Fentos looking to just wear down Prince Dean now. Yes. And there's that crowd again getting behind, getting behind uh, the Prince with his fluffy knee pads. I do like fluffy knee pads. Oh, please. To measure him for a boot, but nobody there. Oh, oh and deep with a boot hits of his own. One of his own. Measures out corner to corner, all the way back again. Big halluva kick. Hell of a kick. It was a hell of a kick. Oh, no. And another, another for good one. measure. Again. He's calling for another. Coast to coast. Boom. Prince Dean perhaps forgetting this is a 20 foot ring. It's going to take a while to cross. 
Maybe forgetting about the 15 minute time limit as well. Indeed. You got one more lap in you, Dean. Come on. Go on, mate, one more. Oh. There it is. Is Dave forgetting? He's still a, going. This is a 20 foot ring. Each crossing is 20 feet. I mean, this is the London. This, this is this is the day of the London Marathon. The Prince Dean is doing it <laughs> in the UKVW ring. It doesn't count as the marathon, Dean. Stop. He's just reached Westminster Abbey. Dean, this is. I, I've, <laughs> I've lost count of how many. This is 160 feet. Take a break in between, at least, man. God, Dean, one more. One more. Now stop. Fen Fentos hasn't got a clue. No, I don't blame him. He has just eaten that size 10 eight times. Whoa. That's a huge clothesline from Fentos. Leaps over. I don't blame Fentos for missing, really. He must be seeing stars. Absolutely. A cravat. Snap me out. Oh, a twist of his own. That is, that is tip for tat, that is. Absolutely, turnabout is Anything fair play. Anything you can do, Fentos just angry now. Just trying to, try to go after him. Bounces off the ropes. It's a forearm to the back for both, Prince Dean. Both men are looking exhausted. Ducks through. Oh, Prince huge Steve net breaker. The, there we go, this, this is definitely a, anything you can do, I can do better. Absolutely, need the man to be outdone in this one. As he hits it, oh, into the corner. Uh, that, that, that's a Lewisham buster, right? Yeah, I think that's what he calls it. There we it. go. That'll, that'll, that'll work. It's easy going like that. Well, it's the part of, for parts I know somewhere near Lewisham. Yes. Yeah. I got it, I listen. Sometimes. To drag Fentos from the corner. I mean, that's, that, is a, a that is a lifeless giant being dragged to the middle of the ring. Oh, credit to Prince Dean. And a, a roll up, Jackknife Pid. Two no. count, Fentos hoist him up. <laughs> oh, oh, we've all seen power. this. Oh, go for that jackknife powerball. Prince Dean ducks through. And again. Oh, oh. Canadian Destroyer. And that does and as it. quick as that. As quick as that, Uno dos tres. Absolutely. Ein zwei drei. One two got, three. I was going to say, I know you got more in here. Under toi. In going ben. Well, there you have it, Grapple fans. Prince Dean picking up the victory with a huge Lewisham destroyer. Hard to say for sure, Buff Broadside, but what a way to finish that contest. And it just. I mean, he ran he a half marathon in the UKBW ring. I think that's got to be the first time. Ever. He really did. He. <laughs> This is this has been an incredible display in athletic ways. You might not have considered going in. Fentos with legitimate what seemed like minutes in that corner, standing on his head, not to be outdone by Prince Dean. And Prince Dean crosses this 20-foot ring multiple times over. But there it is, Clark Andrews just reiterating Prince Dean, the winner of this contest. We have seen some special things this evening. But the show of athleticism in that match was incredible. Grapple fans, it is now time for your main event, a tag team match of epic proportions as coming together for the first time as a duo in both cases. Fabio Romano and Nathan Blade in one corner and Devious Danny and Ricardo Borg in the other. Buff Broadside, what a match we're in for. It's going to be a quacktacular main event, let me tell you. Ricardo Borg's coming out, he's going to give some more wiggle. And up. Absolutely, he's going to be in it for the bread because otherwise his ducks don't get fed. Let's take you to ringside for the action. Greetings, Grapple fans. Rob Ringside alongside my broadcast colleague, Buff Broadside. And Buff, a team we have never seen before. 
but an impressive one nonetheless. Oh, a team I've never seen before and a team I hope we'll never see again. That's the spirit. <laughs> My goodness. Nathan Blade had an impressive Tell us what show you really think, Buff well, Broadside. Enough for the riddles. Yeah, you know, Nathan Blade had an impressive showing earlier on, but this time with the experience of uh, Fabio Romano in his corner, you never know, you never know. He may come out of it with a big W. Yes, indeed. And don't get me wrong, the challenge ahead of them is not insurmountable, but going to be hard to surmount. Well, this is it. They, uh, they, are, they are in there with two fairly new, fairly new guys to UKPW. I mean, Devious Danny with the speed and the energy and the intensity of the other one, Ricardo Borg. It's, it's, it's going to be a main event. Words fail us. The ages. Words fail us. Or I fail to say words. That too. I really like these two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's I definitely mean, a lot of energy. They, they, they are, they are fully going mild for these two entering the ring. Yeah. They're like the chicken corner of tag teams. Oh, I like a chicken. Yeah, a little bit too mild. Would be my record. first choice. Let's bring them out. And here comes the Jeffrazy. <laughs> Ever had a duck curry? Because here it comes. I'd love to know what he puts on his bread before he comes out for a match. Because, shoot, I'm talking. I'm busy. Go away. I'm doing a job. Nathan Blade interrupting commentary then. Nathan Blade telling us at the commentation station he has learned his lesson from his previous encounter with Devious Danny. Remains to be seen if the lesson he learned was the correct one. I mean, this is true. It's important, I mean, right? If I, even the smartest competitor in the ring, if they learn the wrong lesson, they'll do the wrong thing. I'll it's just it's just standard. I'll tell you the biggest mistake he made. He laid on the back for a free count. Yes, that well, was that, it. that was a big part that of it. That was the biggest mistake he made in that match. Absolutely, absolutely. But here we go. You have got speed, energy, and eccentricity. It's easy and for you to say, as always. It is. I'm going to put my false teeth back in in a minute. But they're going. I mean, are they a quack attack? Are they the mighty ducks? Are they the immortal ducks? There you go. There we go. We have got it. The immortal ducks. I'm with it. I can't hear you from over at that 25. That's 20 feet away. Fly V! Sorry. There we go. Word oh, Borg remonstrating with Nathan Blade. Word, word, words being, words being uh, 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 chatted. Yes. Yes. What he said. What is going on? I don't know. It's been a long day. That raffle took it out of you. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and we're off. Ricardo Borg starting to proceed with Fabio Romano. The bell ringer. He's played with his dingaling, and we're away. Oh, no, Borg. He's got some moves in he? He, he does. I'm not quite sure what they are, but he's got them. I quite fancy going on a night out with him, see him on a dance floor, maybe knock out the... Uh, Might knock out the funky chicken, or funky it, duck. Maybe it's got his own move. It, a variation it, of the funky chicken. I mean, if he, if he can pop it and lock it... The robot got, duck. He's, he'd, be, he'd be duck Laurent, you know what I mean? Yeah. He goes to the right yeah. place. Whoa. Fabio Romano, I'm not quite sure what to make of Ricardo Borg in the corner there. This part word audience have definitely fallen in love with Ricardo Borg this evening. Absolutely. <laughs> First time in singles action. An impressive showing against the law. And now, arguably the more popular of the two teams in this crowd. Javier Romano enjoying some early momentum with well, he, he's, wrist locked, lock. he's locked the wrist. Indeed. We've got to roll through and oh, 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 oh. It's like a oh. Russian, looked like a Russian leg sweep was on the cards, but uh, Fabio Romano, Again, not see, Russian. This, this is the difference. Here. Now, Nathan Blade now taking with Fabio Romano. Fabio Romano's got that experience. Indeed. That might bring Nathan Blade just, just right to the, to the point where he might get that touchdown win. Absolutely. And now, Ricardo Borg trying to work his way back to a vertical base, but Fabio Romano keeping that. Oh, and then just leveraging the head to this ring. And, let, down to the and, let's, and let's not forget that a third player on their team, Richie Rich, who's on the outside, giving the giving grief to the fans. Absolutely. 
He's already been thrown so far, out of the building that, once. Who so let him back in? So far, that's the limit of his involvement in this match. But as you rightly point out, he is an extra person at ringside. And who let him back in? He's been thrown out once. Nothing to do with me, Squire. I've been here the whole time. There's radio over there. Is that where Ooh. you've been? Yeah, I'm here the whole time. Oh, hardly noticed you. Yep. Get that there we go, and there anyway, it is. Ricardo Bull just driving Fabio Romano to the mat and wrenching that arm. Making him eat that canvas. Absolutely. Oh, high high fibre diet on Fabio Romano. Absolutely. Nathan Blade making his way over, all the way over to the other side of the ring. But that is not where he can get a legal tag from. This it's, is, it's this not, is the, again, see that, that, that inexperience going over and giving grief to the audience. Referee Tristan Stone checking on Fabio Romano because that arm is wrenched in a position it's not meant to go in. Oh! Even further so. Trying to pop that elbow out of his socket right there. Yes, indeed. As we see the first tag of the contest, Devious Danny makes his presence Danny known. Fly. Double axe handle to the arm. Continuing to work over the arm of Fabio Romano. Oh, rolling him over. Down Such as the... Oh! Whips through the speed of Devious Danny. Only a one count, but that's the first one of the contest so far. Fabio going to be struggling to do anything with their left arm after he leaves tonight. Indeed. Don't, that, don't, no. That stop, helped. stop, stop. I wasn't going anywhere with it. I'll All right, good, oak. Oh, Ricardo Bull. I was Bull. behaving myself then. Right, How dare good, you? Good, good, good. Let's keep it that way. Ricardo Bull just driving the shoulder into the arm. Once again, just that shoulder socket being worked over by the two. Despite the fact they've never teamed before. Working together quite closely. See, if the, te if the team... Oh, if the Fabio team, Romano if the team looking to get the tag. Oh, and the tag is made. Sneak through. Nathan Blade making his way into this contest for the first time against Ricardo Borg. As I was Romano. trying to say from who you dropped it earlier. Well, by no. proceedings. <laughs> if they manage to actually tear Fabio's arm, that takes away his, his, uh, his uh, Ita Italian heritage moves. Absolutely, it does limit his, uh, his abilities. In terms of his move set, he can choose from. Yes. Yeah, Nathan Blade enjoying a bit of dominance over Devious Danny. I mean, this, this is what we see, saw in their singles match earlier: the size difference allowing for that, allowing for that early dominance. Danny driven to the turnbuckle right in front of our commentation station. Nathan Blade driving those shoulders into the intake. shoulder block. The warrior and coming out in that armour. Earlier on, this match against Danny, you can tell shoulder blocks are kind of his stock in trade. So defensive, defensive lineman. This is it, quick tag now between Romano and Blade. Very effective move by the two, despite their lack of tag team experience together. They are making good use of isolating Divis Danny in the corner as a tactic, and it does seem to be working. As they look to drag Danny away from any attempts to get towards Ricardo Ball, and that is a big distance to cover. 20 feet, corner to corner. Popped up and Pop a up headbutt. headbutt. As Danny is rocking from that one, absolutely reeling. Ricardo Ball. See, there we go, Ricardo Ball coming around. Making his way around to check on Divis Danny, trying to G him up a little bit. He knows he can't get to him corner to corner, so he's trying a different method. Very, again, that eccentricity of Ricardo Borg again, actually sure. coming into its own in terms of a. And again, there we are. Tactic. Oh, and Richie Rich making his Your presence ball, known as the him, extra man in this contest. Ricardo Borg getting right in his face. Oh, oh another meanwhile, big Meanwhile, in the ring, we have a cover. Oh, pay attention. And a two. Borg stuck Not outside enough. chatting with Richie Rich. And while we're Absolutely. doing that, Nathan, Nathan Blade in the ring. Nathan Blade in the ring enjoying a leverage over Devious Danny with a headlock. Ricardo Borg directing traffic, getting the crowd to chant quack for Devious Danny. Maybe not the not Danny, maybe. I don't know if you're going to chant for stuff. That's all right, it seems to be working. Oh, British drop kick. Getting involved in our commentation station over here. 
to actually get a little bit too close to us. Oh, and wow. he's him Looks again. for the sling blade, but oh, impressive one, strength. Oh, backbreaker. Absolutely incredible strength from Nathan Blade and a cover, but only a one. while working over the back of Dan Dean Danian, once again isolating him from that corner where Ricardo Borg is desperate to get the tag in. He's obviously had a chance, I mean, he, I say he's had a chance to rest, but he's up and down that corner like a mad he's, thing. He's using more energy on the apron than he has done in the match. Absolutely. Oh, Cold. going for a slingshot. Look at that. Oh. Big back elbow. And just whipping him out. Big shoulder block from Nathan Blade. Working together well as a team, it has to be said. As Fabio Romano gets a two count. And then isolates right. Danny once again. We know Danny, we know Danny doesn't die, but Danny doesn't look like he's going to fly at the minute. No, not right now. He is grounded. As Fabio Romano enjoys a headlock, just the, keeping him in position. The team of Blade and Romano have done a good job cutting the ring in half. Very much so. And obviously, with a, big, a ring this size, that is a big distance to cut off. It's a big ring. Can't stop mentioning it. it it's a very big ring. To you said power out. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't the plan. Not played for, but all right. There you Meanwhile, go. David's Danny trying to power trying to out. For that tag. Oh, oh, big backdrop. Back and a two, almost a three. That side, that side suplex brings Danny out of the lights. Look at that. And then again, cutting the ring off. That's smart tag team wrestling. You might not like him, but you got to respect him. Absolutely. They've done a good job despite their lack of teaming together. They are making good tactics on the fly. That's not his name. Right. Signalling that this one's over, but Danny has something to say about that as he fights out go. of it with a. Davies is fighting back, firing up! Off, off the ropes. ropes. Oh! oh it's a big clothesline. with a big clothesline again. That's played off the ropes by himself. Oh, Another splash across splash. the back. And a cover. This could do it. Two. That's a couple of those tidal waves that he's hitting with this afternoon. Oh. I think it's safe to say Danny's lost a couple of inches off of his waist. Danny reaching out for a commentation I'd station, to, but I'd we can't help you. you. We can't, can't help you. We're not part of this contest, mate. We're sorry, Danny. Oh, going for a slingshot oh. again. Back elbow from Danny. Trying to fight his way out of the corner. Bolts over, going, almost nah. makes it, but Fabio Romano so grabs the arm. Ducks through, Insiguri. oh! Step up in Seguri without Fly the step, Danny. and Borg is in! Wow! Fired up Borg. Double dro uh, drop kick. Nathan from Blade is down for Romano. <laughs> double double hand chops. Hoist and a big scoop slam. Off the ropes. And an elbow drop with a flourish. Listen to that crowd! Couldn't duck that one because it was he was on the floor. Right. Whips Fabio Romano in with some authority. Ricardo Borg coming out of the corner like a firecracker. Absolutely. As Romano jumps through, but he's Big caught. Catch. Huge strength from Ricardo Borg. Oh, hoist him up. Look at oh, that. Oh, aeroplane spin! What's it gonna be at the end? He's gonna bring up his lunch. That made everybody giddy. And Ricardo Ball came out just as badly on that one. Romano's dropped. And Ball with into him. The Cover. And Blade Nathan. breaks up the three count. What is going on? Meanwhile, Danny making his way back into the ring. Big forearm. Borg had Romano, then if Blade had the cover. Oh, in. huge chop. And clotheslines him. Oh. Didn't go over on that one. Trying to take him out over the top rope. Or through the middle. He just wants to get He doesn't rid of mind. Him. He just wants him gone. Look at that. Hey. Almost like a baseball slide sending Nathan Blade to the ring. Gets him out eventually. Nathan Blade powering out we're of there. it. We're down. We saw, I've seen this before. Meanwhile, he's hoisting him up. Double arm hook. Oh! And hey. Richie Rich Did to the know. canvas. But from behind, Fabio Romano with a roll up. Oh, oh, and a kick out. Even with a handful of tights, he couldn't get him. Knee to the chin. <laughs> Calling for the end. This would be coming to Rome. Oh, but Ricardo Borg's not interested in travelling at this stage. And a backslide. And a backslide to double underhook. Look with at the, that elevation. Oh. That's it. 
Daddy going to fly? Oh, Nathan Daddy Blake. calling to finish it. Nathan Blake still down on the outside. Project SE is just out at ringside. Meanwhile, Danny is going to fly. Frog splash. That's it. It's all Two over. and three. It's, it's over. It. World Grapple fans, two unknown tag teams in their first collision and their first experience tagging together. And this time, the victory goes to the breadwinner, Ricardo Borg, and the immortal, Devious Danny. Buff Broadside, your thoughts on that ending? It was hard to keep track of. All right, mate, that was absolutely wild. Richie Rich getting what he deserved with a right hook in the chin. I can't wait. I, I wish I'd have done it myself. But Devious Danny and Ricardo Borg showing exactly exactly what they've got to offer at UKPW and I can't wait to see more from the pair of them. Absolutely right, Buff Broadside. This occasion, the victory goes to Devious Danny and Ricardo Borg. An impressive display from Nathan Blade and Fabio Romano, but as always, what matters is the fall. And Devious Danny and Ricardo Borg take it from them. Well, Grapple fans, that does it for us here at Grapple at the Green in Parkwood. My thanks to my broadcast colleague, the always entertaining Buff Broadside. I've been Rob Ringside. Yeah, I have my moments. <laughs> Only a few. Yeah, but I have them. That's the important thing. Grapple fans, thank you for watching, and bye for now. Stay Buffalicious. That's what he said. Greetings Grapple fans, Rob Ringside here reminding you to check out more UKPW content on our YouTube channel. There's links everywhere around us, so just pick one and you're going to have some fantastic wrestling action.